Hi guys, I just have some information for you. And this is for all my brothers and sisters who are in America. And also for everyone around the world, as it does, um, it does actually affect everybody, this information. Um, just a brief history on it. In 1948, uh, a, a law was passed in America which said that the governments, the American governments, couldn't use propaganda against their own people. And that was an act that was made, and it was very specific, and it said the government cannot use propaganda against its own people to, you know, go with their own, to change their laws and to do specific things. This was an actual law that was passed. Okay, just some information that I've got, and I don't know how many people know about this or know that it's been passed, but in May of 2012 last year, a Texan Republican called Thornbury introduced the H.R. 5736, the smith munt Modernization Act of 2012. I'm just going to explain to you what the Act is. Um, and then I'm going to read briefly a piece that I've found which explains rather well about it. Now basically what this Act is, is back in 1948, after the World War, after the wars, the American people started to wake up, just like they are today, and they started to realise that the governments are actually using propaganda against them to get what they wanted. So they were putting out false stuff and just, you know, the people at that time were actually sick and tired of it. So this bill was introduced so that it couldn't be done anymore um, against the people and against the world as well. But in May of 2012, that law was actually amended. I don't know how many people know about this. Now, it was amended in such a way that I find it really shocking, especially in light of what's happening at the moment with the Sandy Hook um, and all those things there. So basically, I'm going to give you a brief rundown of what the new law um, now has added to what is what, what has been added to it. So what they've added to it is that the government in America has um, power over the broadcasting in America. Um, they are allowed to put their own information, to disseminate information. They're allowed to use, um, they're allowed to use, hang on, they're allowed to use the press. They're allowed to use publications. They're allowed to use the radio. They're allowed to use motion pictures. They can put their prop propaganda over the internet. They're allowed to use other information media, including social media and through information centers, instructors, and other, sorry, and other direct or indirect means of communication. And also what they're gonna be doing, they've also changed the act to say that the people who put all this stuff into the archives are just putting it straight into the archives, which means that propaganda and, sorry, lies that the government is telling is then being put into the archives Basically, what this means, people, is for anything that the government want to do and they want to change, they're going to be using every format available to them to change your mind about an issue. For instance, what's going on today with the Sandy Hook? Now, reading this and knowing that they've got full, um, you know, they've got full power over all broadcasting, filming, Okay, they can make films if they want to, right? They can go onto social media sites if they want to. So for those of you that know about the video that I've put up about the YouTube videos that are on a hit list that are um, talking about Sandy Hook and the cracks in the official narrative, it's the government that wants them off YouTube because we are actually messing up their propaganda. So there's a hit list at the moment for videos that are on YouTube and they want them off because it's messing up all this stuff that they're trying to do. Um, obviously, they're trying to take the guns off you guys in the USA, and they're using any means and forms that they need and they deem necessary, and that's what they're doing. And also, it's changing history because if you're putting, if you're putting false stuff into the archives, you know, in a hundred years' time, people are going to be reading that stuff. It's going to be available. And who in a hundred years' time is going to know the truth about what was really going on in the world and the fact that governments had to make films to try and change our minds? You know, they, they made movies and they were on the radio and they were infiltrating our social media. So for people that say that there aren't government trolls online um, and they say they're not, 
there, there aren't people that are doing that. And when we are calling them government shills and everything, look, the internet, they've infiltrated it. Social media sites, they have full power. So this was bought in May 2012. So you've got June, July, August, September, October, November, December. So we had seven months after you got the Sandy Hook happening. So this was rather, I think this was changed um, rather deliberately because they knew what was coming up in 2012 and they knew what was going on. So I'm going to say that people who are questioning the official narrative for Sandy Hook have every right to do so. And if you're not questioning certain things at this time, then, you know, this stuff is getting to you, man. This propaganda and the, the government broadcasting is getting to you. So people need to be aware of this and to know that it is a law and it was passed May 2012. They have full power now to use propaganda against the American people and also against foreigners, you know. So just be aware of that. Um, there are some other little bits here that are quite interesting. You see, this is just like t talking about the pros and the cons of having this bill. I'm just going to read you some of this and I will leave all the links underneath as well. An amendment that would legalise the use of propaganda on American audiences is being inserted into the latest defence authorization bill, BuzzFeed has learned. The amendment would strike the current ban on domestic dissemination of propaganda material produced by the State Department and the Independent Broadcasting Board of Governors, according to the summary of the law at the House Rules Committee's official website. The tweak to the bill would essentially neutralise two previous acts, the smith munt Act of 1948 and the Foreign Relations Authorization Act in 1987, that had been passed to protect US audiences from our own government's misinformation campaigns. So that basically just sums it up. So these two laws were brought out so your government in the USA couldn't use misinformation campaigns against you. So in May 2012 of this year, that law was changed saying they can use misinformation against you and they will use misinformation against you. And I'm sorry, after looking at issues that have happened in America, they have used misinformation against you. And when they're doing it against you, our American brothers and sisters, they're doing it against us. They're doing it against everyone. This affects the world. Because when you start mixing reality with films and the internet and you start making films to persuade people's mind, such as, for example, um, to, to um, ban guns, that's, that's some scary shit right there. You know, you're changing laws to make little films and whatever you need to, to change the minds of the people living there. That's, to me, that's desperation. And, that, and that's disgusting to think that they amended this law which in 1948 was rightly so made to say that this can't happen anymore and they've gone behind everyone's back. How many people in America knew that they'd done this? I mean, I bet this was quietly passed through, wasn't it? It's disgusting. It's absolutely disgusting. So when we start questioning the official narrative for Sandy Hook, um, we're finding holes in the story and there's going to be because these people are making these things. There's going to be mistakes and there are mistakes. I was watching a video last night by a YouTube user, Pat Jack, and I have to tell you, it was absolutely superb. What the guy has done is he's taken um, footage that was taken supposedly from the day, the December the 14th, when the Sandy Hook event took place, and he's looking at the shadows of the people in this footage, and it's just superb. He's just really good, and he's telling you the time of day that this footage was taken, and where they're trying to tell us that at the St. Rosa School, um, the police were running into that school. I don't know if you've seen that footage. Um, they were trying to tell us it was Sandy Hook, but it was another school. This footage was actually filmed at about 2.45 p.m. 2.45 p.m. being shown on the day saying that it's the shooting at Sandy Hook. A, it was the wrong school, and B, it was 2.45 p.m. 
Now, come on, guys. This stuff was supposed to happen at nine something, right? What the hell are they doing up showing us police running into a school? Not only was it the wrong school, but it was quarter to three in the afternoon. So when you see a law like this, you start to realise and it starts to make sense to you. Yeah. So they've got control of the television. They've got control of the Internet. Not that we didn't know that anyway, but they've actually passed a law to give them this control. And you better get to know this shit is happening. Right. And it's going on. So keep your wits about you. Yeah. Try to have a clear mind when you look at information that they give you and be aware that this information can easily be changed to try and sway you so they can change their laws and do whatever they're doing and um, I just wish everybody well um, have clarity now you know this and look at things with a different mind look at this with your eye <laughs> yeah and understand what's happening peace out to my brothers and sisters in America